Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. So this is the second email in our ConvertKit series and we're showing you how to set up email sequences and how to set up an automation. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna be sort of doing it pretty pretty quick and uh, pretty simple just so we can uh, get a lot, cover a lot really quickly because there's a lot I could go into that isn't necessary because you can sort of figure a lot of it out for yourself. But if you ever get stuck, you also have these videos on the website explaining in detail how things work. But to start off with, I'm going to create a sequence and then show you how to put, how to then create an automation which allows you to have a certain flow about how things work. So the first thing we do, I'm going to create this new sequence. So if I go up top, click a new sequence, I'm going to call it first emails. So sequence, we call it first emails, and what happens is we get the uh, we get the little email editor here. We can give it a topic such as welcome. Here's another bonus for you. So maybe you have a bonus on your that you're offering for people to sign up, and then maybe you want to add an extra little hidden bonus in there. So maybe we type our email in there. So we get our subscribers subscribers name. Thanks, thanks again for signing up. Here's a bonus extra. And then we add our link, which if I highlight, I can click a link, link here. Insert link and I put my address in there. For now, I'm just going to put in google.com, open a new tab, and I'm going to actually add a tag. So maybe they, uh, you know, bonus. I'll call it bonus. So this is if they click on that link, they'll actually get this tag bonus added to their name. So that's the first one. And we're going to sign out and go from there. I'm going to save that. And this is going to go out one day after they sign up when we set this up on the automation. So the next email is actually going to be what I call an option email. So you can either set up a form with options, but I like to do it just on the fly. So we go add another email. And what we can call this one is, what's your goal? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, hi there. So let's say we were doing a health and fitness email newsletter and we want people to either learn how to lose weight or gain muscle. So we type out an email again. Once again, you want your email to be a little bit longer, a little bit more friendly. So what's your goal in fitness? And obviously, I'm not a fitness uh, expert. This is purely just to show you the example. Maybe I'll create a little drop down. You can say, lose weight. You can say, uh, click, click one. Lose weight. Gain muscle. So these are our options. We then obviously type a little outro and go from there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this up. Let's say we've got a page with some weight loss tips and a page with some muscle tips. And then we're gonna send a series of emails to the person depending on what they've signed up for here. So let's say we go lose weight. I'm gonna add a link, insert link. So maybe it's loseweight.com or whatever the pages you want to send them to open in a new tab and we're going to go subscribe a tag lose weight so now we've got this tag I can edit that at any time but straight away if anyone clicks on this link they will be sent they will have the tag lose weight added to their profile so that way any action I take now I can say anyone who has the lose weight tag I'm going to send them an email or not send them an email and it allows me to then personalize what I'm sending. So the same thing will happen again with the gain muscle. Maybe I highlight gain muscle, click the link, insert the link, tag, and maybe I just call it muscle. Add in my link in here. One day I will learn how to type and insert. Okay, so there we've got this nice sequence here with two emails in it. The good thing about ConvertKit is now, Let's say I don't want to send this one day. Maybe I want to give them a couple of days to digest their bonus. Up here, I can save, change that to send maybe five days after they've received their bonus or even three days. But let's say we get a really low open rate on weekends. I can choose not to send on Saturdays or Sundays. So after three days, it will send on the next available day and we can go from there. Now, I'm pretty happy with this email. So I'm going to save it to published and same with the first email published and I'm going to save these I'll click back here and you can see I've saved these two emails in this first sequence 
And what I can do is I can simply go through and add more emails, change how many days, and say 10 days after, that sort of thing, and go from there. Or if I want to, I can just trash this email altogether. So now we've got a sequence with two emails and basically within four days you'll receive these two emails. So I've got this saved. I'm going to go back to sequences once this disappears. Back to sequences. So now you see we've got first emails, a four day sequence with two emails. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add a lose weight and a muscle sequence. I'm not going to go through and type emails like we did before. We're just going to sort of move ahead a bit. So I'll call this one lose weight, create the sequence. Maybe I'll just publish this because this isn't a real account. This is just a test account for this purpose of this video. And then maybe I'll add a few ones in here such as weightlifting. Diet tips. Maybe I have a few emails in this sequence showing people how to gain muscle with a few emails and I set this out. Maybe every three or four days I send one out. I type up my email, add my links, and go from there. So I'm going to save that one. And then once that disappears, I'll go back to my sequences. And I'm going to, once again, create a new sequence. I'm going to call it muscle. I'm going to create that sequence. And once again, I can go through and add a series of emails and go from there. I'm going to publish one and save that. So you can go through and create a whole bunch of emails. It can be 5, 10, 20, 30 emails in a sequence. And that way, when people sign up, they you can control where they go. Okay, so I've sort of covered that very quickly for you. And you can see here, we've got our first emails, which I set up before, and then I want them to go to either lose weight or muscle. Or if they're interested in both, we can set it up so it goes to both. So we've got three email sequences here. And this is where the automations comes in. I've got the top here to automations. Now you see I've got no automations here. And as before, there's a video showing you how to get started. So that way, if you have no idea what you're doing, you can set that up quite easily. I'm going to go up the top here to new automation. And I've got one form and a few different areas. In the last video, I created a form and put it on a website. So I'm going to go create automation. I've got here joins a form. I can also have it set up so that they actually have a tag at it. The second the tag is applied to them, they start this sequence. So there's a few options as to how they join a sequence. You can have multiple sequences. You can have just a one sequence so when they join up, they get these series of emails. But if they get a certain tag added, then they can actually be set onto another sequence and have emails being sent at the same time. So I'm going to start, I'm going to make this nice and simple. I'm going to say joins a form, choose the form and go POW. So whatever form you can actually set up separate forms in your website to send people into different sequences so that way once again you can personalize content based on where someone signs up and what form they use so that way you can more more exactly target your subscribers so I'm going to click add event so now they've signed up and the first thing I'm going to do here I'm going to click I can add various uh, things here over here I can add in other options but what I want to do is just add in an action email sequence, add the subscriber to first emails. So now when the person signs up, they get the first email sequence. Now, as you, as I mentioned before, I've set it up so that that way, when someone clicks lose weight or muscle, they get a tag added to their name. So here's what I'm going to do here. Instead of adding another sequence, I'm going to add a condition. If the subscriber has a certain tag, I might say lose weight. I'll add that condition. And you'll see here we've got yes and no. So what I'm going to do here, now that I, if the person does have the lose weight tag, I want to add in my lose weight sequence. And of course, I can simply choose to have no and have them go to the muscle building sequence. However, if I do that, what happens is if they want to actually receive both email sequences, maybe they're interested in both, that means they will miss out on the muscle sequence if they have the lose weight tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add down the end here, end of automation. I'm going to add another condition, tag, scroll down, muscle, add condition. So now I can actually have this here, email sequence, muscle, 
add the action. So that is how to get started. We sign up, they receive the first handful of emails. If they have the lose weight tag, they then receive the lose weight email sequence. And then when they're done, if they have the muscle tag, they receive the muscle sequence. However, if they don't have the lose, the lose weight tag and only the muscle, they will skip that sequence altogether and go straight to here and have the muscle tag and go to there. But there is another condition. What if for some reason they receive that email and they don't click either one of those sequences? Well, you can simply follow on and continue to add sequences from there. Maybe I click plus, it's just playing up a little bit at the moment, add an email sequence that is, and just simply go from there if I want to. Or I can actually add in something separate here. Maybe if I have a sequence of 10 emails here with lose weight, I can add another sequence here, maybe showing them how to, uh, maybe just sending one simple email talking about the benefits of weight loss for muscle gain and that sort of thing. I don't know. I'm, once again, not a fitness expert, but it shows you how you can set up different sequences based on their activity in these other emails. I can also set it up so if someone here signs up for this form, I can add a tag. So here's an action. I can, sorry, it's playing up a little bit, showing up behind here, but maybe I can actually add or remove a tag. So I can create a tag. Maybe I call it to sign up for the form. I'll just say, pal, create tag, add action. So now you can see here, they'll add a tag. So when they sign up, it shows me that they are part of the power form. I can add that on there. And there's all these little options. So that's how you can sort of start to create a sequence. You can also add in other little areas here, such as is added to a tag. So maybe I add them to this power tag again. And go from there. There is a bit of an issue, unfortunately, with this overlap here, which I, I think is something I have to work on. But either way, if you, if you have a bit of an idea up front, you can sort of go ahead and add in different areas. So you get this nice visual flow of, okay, they're here. I add that tag to the subscriber. They get given the first emails with some options. Depending on those options, they'll receive this sequence or this sequence. Now, there's also a few other things here. When I get to the end, now I'm just gonna go over these very quickly because basically jump to here when a tag is removed. So if someone actually does takes a certain action and a tag is removed, you can skip ahead to the sequence and move them to a position. Or maybe if you hit a certain date, so maybe you have a, uh, a restricted time for a certain sequence of emails. So that way, if you have a se email sequence, but it's gonna be useless after say the 13th of September, you can actually jump to here when that date is reached. You can also link things up so when someone purchases something. So there's a few different options to bring people to a certain point within a sequence. When you get here, the action is so maybe you want to have a certain delay. So delay the next step for so many days. So that way, if you want to have a, few, a week or so for someone before they go to a next step, you can actually add in things like delays. We can go back, like I said, we can add and move tags. We can set up an email sequence. We can even move a subscriber if we want to. So we can exit this automation or remove from another automation. So let's say you've got two automations going at once and they're gonna to get to the point where they're repetitive. You can get to a point and remove someone from another automation or you can exit this automation, that sort of thing. If you want to get a little bit tricky, you can even add a tag and set up a whole new sequence based on when that tag is, is added to their um, subscriber details. So there's a whole bunch of options here worth exploring. Like I said, you've got your conditions here, so that way you've got your yes and no's. You can even get a little bit more tricky and add in certain conditions. So let's say if they don't, ha they don't have the muscle tag, we want to add the condition. So maybe if they actually have the lose weight tag, there's even more down here that's separate. You can create really complex funnels and really personalize your emails. So that is basically how you start. Now, when you're done, at the moment, this is paused. I want to unpause it. Zero subscribers. Like I said, I haven't got any subscribers on this test account. Turn on, turn it on. So yeah, if someone signs up, they now receive this automation. They get a couple of emails here. If they click one or the other, if they click lose weight link, they get this sequence. If they click the muscle sequence, they get this sequence and go from there. So 
your imagination is pretty much the, the limit there. It's very powerful and um, there's not too much I can show you without getting too specific. So I might come up with a few sample uh, automations in the future just to show you how it works. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. That shows you how you can create an automated email sequence using ConvertKit. So I hope you did find that video useful. I have got some more coming showing you other areas of ConvertKit such as different forms you can use, creating certain automations. But today that's pretty much it to show you how the automation works. So if you like the video, uh, please consider giving it a like or subscribing. Otherwise, if you still haven't signed up for ConvertKit, just remember you can sign up for a 14 day trial. You don't have to give any payment information. Um, so you can sign up and just simply leave it if you want. You can even sign up let the trial run out and then choose to pay two or three months down the track and continue from where you left off. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, good setup. You can really try it out for free quite well. Um, so if you want to sign up, this is uh, an affiliate link. I do earn a commission if you decide to go ahead and purchase. But if you head to willbuildyourblog.com slash convertkit, um, you can get started from there. So thanks for watching the video and I'll talk to you next time.